Oh, they're yeah. they're yeah. I mean, and she's a, she's going to be a legendary first lady for this country. She would be here, but she's seen patients via telehealth. But she'll be set a good example for children in this country. Yeah. Spread ele- the message in this community. Elegance. That's your wife. That's right. She, you you've mm-hmm. seen her. Yeah. Simple elegance. Thank you. Thank you. Know, you. She doesn't have a. She doesn't make a big production out of it. She doesn't but. have an ass six and axe handles wide either. No, she's no. <laughs> she does her she does her job exactly. Thank you. I appreciate it, guys. This is my wife of 50 years Oh, this is in two weeks. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. He's a good good man. Yes. I guess if you're Vivek Ramaswamy and you're hoping for Republicans to vote for you over their savior, Donald Trump, you'll have to accept the occasional compliment that your wife's ass isn't six axe handles wide as they expected. He'll also have to accept that they just don't like him, no matter how much Trump pandering that he throws at them. And Vivek Ramaswamy, I think we always talk about all comers are welcome in the Republican Party. Great diverse field. The first debate in August. You watched him and said, OK, we'll th- <laughs> give this guy a shot. He's like your sister's new boyfriend. You're excited. He's coming over for Thanksgiving. He's rich. He worked. At, he's an entrepreneur. He's going to bring some really interesting, expensive food and buy <laughs> and buy. You're coming up on New Year's Eve and you're trying to concoct what kind of illness you're going to have just so you don't have to spend the him. night with him. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. that's where we are with Perfect him. Perfect analogy. Good analogy. Despite their need to avoid him at holiday parties, Vivek is still in this race. So in a last-ditch effort to really convince voters that are analyzing the size of his wife's ass, the man that can't find anything negative to say about the former president that he's trying to beat thinks that kneeling isn't enough. He's going to have to go ahead and bow down. This is the action of an entire system that has an anaphylactic reaction to one man. And I think they're dropping the bed breadcrumbs. They're making it clearer by the day. I'm concerned that they will not allow this man to get anywhere near the start line of the election, let alone the finish line. And I say this as somebody who's running in the same race as Donald Trump. This is not how we should want to win. So I stand by the pledge I made earlier on the back of the Colorado decision, and I reiterate it today that I will voluntarily, as a Republican candidate, remove myself from any GOP primary ballot where one of my competitors, Donald Trump included, is forcibly removed through this unconstitutional maneuver. And I think one thing that the other Republican candidates can do, Kaylee, is to fight against this, to say that Ron DeSantis and Nikki Haley and Chris Christie do the same thing, that if Maine is going to do this, we then take Maine out of the GOP primary process. Solid MAGA principles from Vivek. He's so upset over states attempting to remove Trump from his ballots, he's ready to take himself off the ballot as well. But is it principles or a way to avoid acknowledging his fledgling campaign and simply dropping out normally? Republican presidential candidate Vivek Ramaswamy appears to be shifting strategies. His campaign has stopped spending money on television ads and doesn't have any future ones planned. He is the candidate in this Republican primary who has essentially tried to run as Trump Jr. here. He has not distinguished himself from Donald Trump on almost any policy or any substance and said coming to Donald Trump's defense consistently, much to the chagrin of the likes of Nikki Haley and Ron DeSantis, but he's sort of right been waiting for Donald Trump to maybe perhaps disappear. Well, Donald Trump hasn't disappeared and Vivek Ramaswamy is clearly not popular enough to likely overtake him. That said, he has cut off his ad advertisement spending. And I just want to let you look as part of his statement from his campaign in which they say, quote, we are focused on bringing out the voters we've identified. Best way to reach them is using addressable advertising, mail, text, live calls, and doors to communicate with our voters on Vivek's mission for America, making their plan to caucus and turning them out. We're just 19 days away here at this point. Donald Trump was quick to respond to this news, though, Jacob, by saying Vivek should get out and endorse him. (laughs) Taking his name off of ballots or announcing his promotional tour is finally over. Either way, it's looking like Sean Hannity is going to get what he wants. Did about I quote Azerbaijan your exact words? and Armenia? Absolutely. Thank you. About Goodbye. Azerbaijan. Yes, I got you did. Time to go. About a Thank different you. topic, Azerbaijan, Thank where people should actually well, get you should... their own information rather than filter will... through centralized media. I think it's asinine to think somebody that worked in the defense industry should not be qualified to be president. I think people that never held public office, like you, maybe should... they're not qualified to be president. Anyway.